In this video we're going to learn how to carve a wood elf. It's a really good first whittling project. To carve a wood elf we need a piece of wood. This is freshly cut wood, which is called green wood. And that means that it's still got a lot of moisture in it. That makes it much easier to carve, especially when you're learning. I've cut a longer piece than what we need because it's much safer to hold a longer piece than it is to try to cut it, to whittle a short piece. If we use a longer piece of wood, we can carve a wood elf on this end of the wood and then we can also carve one on this end and then cut them to the size that we want afterwards. This is a piece of hazel and this is a piece of sycamore. I'm going to use a wood carving knife like this but any sharp sheath knife or pen knife will work fine. When we're whittling it's really important that we cut away from our body that we don't ever cut down onto our legs and that when we're learning we don't cut towards ourselves. I'm cutting to the side of my body and I'm resting the hand holding the piece of wood on my leg for support. That helps me quite a lot. So the first thing we're going to do is to sharpen the end of the piece of wood as though we're sharpening a pencil. I'm holding the knife in a strong grip and pushing down from my shoulder to cut the wood. The first step is just to take away the bark and to slightly angle in the wood. I've tried to keep all my cuts level so that I get a nice even edge where I've taken away the bark. What I'm going to do now is to start cutting from part way down this area and angle my knife a little bit more and that will start to point the stick. Okay, I've moved the camera in a little bit now and we're going to have a look at making a face on the elf. I'm going to press the knife onto the wood and make a line. I'm pressing quite hard. I'm going to take away the knife, you might be able to see a small cut line. I'm going to make the face by peeling off the bark up to that line. I'm going to go very gently so that we don't go past that line and I'm going to use both my thumbs to control the knife probably take about four cuts. So very gently, about a centimetre from the line and then stopping at the line. That's in the centre, I'm going to do one at the side. If a piece doesn't come away like this, you need to press back on the line just to sever the fibres of the wood. Like that. And then just tidy it up. This is going to be the face of my elf and I could put two eyes and maybe a mouth with a, a sharpie, a, a biro, a Posca pen, permanent pens are best and then I could paint this hat. The other thing we can do is to make a little bobble on the end of the elf's hat 
to make it a little bit more interesting. The first thing is to mark a stop cut about half a centimetre down from the top of his hat. All the way around and pressing on quite hard. So you should see a little line in the wood. It might be quite difficult on the camera. What I'm going to do now is going to cut away very gently little chips of wood up to that line. I'm using my thumb to control the knife in a push cut. If you get little pieces of wood that don't fall away, then you need to press back on the line and that releases them. The wood cuts really easily because it's still green. It's got a lot of moisture in it. The next stage is to round over the top of the bobble. So rounding over the top of the bobble hat, I'm going to use both my thumbs to, cut, to control the knife and to just chip the corner of the wood off all the way around and it gives the effect of it being rounded. The last part of making the bobble hat is to round over the bottom edge of the bobble. That involves cutting down and almost towards us, so it's very important that you lock both of your arms into the side of your body and this limits how far the knife can actually move. So I'm just going to cut down and take away the corner and this creates the effect of a bobble on the end of the hat. I can now take this opportunity to tidy up any parts of the hat that I want to be a bit smoother, get rid of any lumps and bumps And I've now got an elf ready to cut down and decorate. I've got a few little example elves here to show you the different styles you could have a go at once you've managed the basic elf. So this one here just has a pointy hat and a face. It's very simple. He's a first elf. And then these two on this side they both have bobble hats and then with these ones I've used the stop cut to create a head shape. Same technique, just moving it further down a little bit. And as you can probably tell when it's Christmas I make little Santa elves and give them to people instead of Christmas cards. This one has a little piece of raffia tied around the bobble so that you can hang it on the Christmas tree. And this elf here has a little screw-in eyelet ring in the top of the hat so that you can hang him on a key ring or something similar. I hope this helps you with the first whittling project. Have lots of fun whittling wood elves.